Hello, hello, my dear students. Welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series as the US Navy on day 50 of our operations to take Guadalcanal and its surrounding islands. And might I say that is going very, very well indeed. We have this Guadalcanal itself, all of the surrounding islands. We have Santa Isabel pushing up and we are in the process of getting the Shortland Islands as well. We do have a fairly sizable uh, fleet as well in the theatre of operations after whittling down as well one by one their carriers and battleships battleships not so much actually come to think of it so they could still have quite a few of those um in fact saying that so lie completely i don't think we sunk any battleships uh <laughs> to apologize there getting ahead of myself but the carriers of course the uh, bigger threat um for the moment they do have a Zuikaku about somewhere. We did recently sink the Hiyo as well, which is a brilliant uh, surprise for us there. Um, handing that to us on a plate, pretty much. Uh, and that is making sure that our invasion of Shortland Islands is going a little bit clearer as uh, we can do as we want around there to protect it. So, um, having said that, goals for today. I think um, seeing how far we can resupply Guadalcanal, make sure the uh, Shortland Islands are going over and we'll see what happens. But if the AI does in fact think uh, they're sending over in another large task force, we will make that our priority goal as well. And that will take over, of course. Um, so, having said that, let's go to the strategic map and see what we can do. So, um, straight off of the previous episode where we did uh, try and attack the food attacker, uh, we have got the um, Guadalcanal-based um, Dauntlesses to retreat. We are going to tail it with the uh, Tamba as well. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't hit the uh, Congo with our torpedoes there because uh, the, the torpedo uh, passing there, the uh, spread, whatever, just didn't, didn't work out run parallel to the enemy rather than directly at them. Um, fair enough, we'll take that, I suppose. Uh, we are just going to keep on scouting as ever, I think. Just going to double check our kingfishers are still not available here, are they? That's a real shame, actually. Once we've taken the Shortland Islands, I'm sure they'll be uh, free to uh, scout around once they do replenish. Uh, other than that, not really a lot going on. Our um, supply task forces weren't able to make a lot of progress towards the uh, Guadalcanal area in the previous episode uh, because we did have so much action going on. Um, but that's not a problem, not a lot of time did pass. But in that respect, it's also good because uh, we got rid of uh, the decent uh, target rather quickly. So let's carry on, see what we can find. And immediately we do have a couple zeros over our Colorado task force. I believe these to be the remnants of the uh, Hio that uh, we sunk previously. And that's not a problem there at all. We can certainly deal with these. We do have uh, fighter escorts over overhead. And with only two of them being here, it should not be difficult at all. But of course, uh, our Wildcats are somewhat damaged from fighting the zeros previously. But one instantly down there. And just making sure this one is uh, done for as well. It is carrying bombs, though. Uh, the AI does seem to like her uh, sending out planes with any payload possible, um, which is rather strange. These shouldn't have been launched with bombs, uh, logically, because uh, they were after um, defensive uh, operation when we had the Wildcats and Dauntlesses over, but not a problem. All done. That should mean we are that much safer now. They don't have sight on our Colorado task force at all. Not that it matters so much. We are a bit banged up on the bow here still. Um, I don't think we're going to send that back. It's not too threatening at the moment. We should be just fine with that. So let's carry on and see what else happens. Okay, so our fuel and engineering from the New Hebrides has made it over to... Um, Guadalcanal, so you're going to unload all of that. That is very nice indeed. That is tidal server. That is brilliant stuff. That would not be a nice stockpile for when we do upgrade our um, airfield to level uh, four there. That is brilliant stuff. Um, but we have sighted immediately. Um, a, I believe this might be an oiler, but we'll see. Do have some uh, lightnings out anyway that were on patrol. So we'll see what this is. Uh, yeah, it's a single oiler. Lovely stuff. So let's just use one flight of uh, um, lightnings over here to take that on. I think we're going to go tell them to go for a low altitude here just to make sure our bombs do hit a bit easier. Um, I would love the option to um, tell our lightnings not to use their bombs on this just in case they do find something a little more juicy out on their patrol. But that doesn't seem to be the case, unfortunately. Which is rather a sad time there. So where are we? Yeah, let's tell them to attack from here. Easy peasy. 
Uh, I wonder if this is what we cited in the previous episode, actually. No, it's not. It's not taken any damage. Uh, so if you may remember, we did strike an oiler with a single wildcat and it didn't go down because we ran out of ammo before that was the case. Not a problem. Did manage to uh, deter it and I'm sure damage its cargo. But uh, like I said, this should be fairly easy. The uh, bombs should be enough here to sink it. If not, we can go over and strafe it. Lovely stuff. Got a few bounces over and a single dud. Which is rather sad but lovely stuff otherwise I am going to tell them to go in and strafe just in case but hopefully uh, by the time they get over it will be sunk and that is very nice it's uh, completely stopped in the water there completely dead in the water you can see the lightning's coming around for another attack there there we go sinking brilliant stuff easy and a lovely little command point there for us. Just going to go to burst out now because this is the, um, the start of the day. Going to burst out with our patrols and see what is about. Oh, such a nice sight seeing that actually. Actually having said that we are going to take this group and tell them to go back to the new Hebrides. There's no point having them out at Guadalcanal is there. So let's carry on with this. Should probably plug this gap with our sight here, get some more wildcats in this direction here. But having said that, what's the lightness come into contact with? Um, it might just be some harvesters, but if it's zeros, I'd like to know. Do have a drum over here we can turn on the radar. Ooh, that's a lot of planes. So there are some harvesters at least. <laughs> We know that. <laughs> that's um, that's a loss, a loss, that's a loss, a loss. Oh, I see. Um, <sighs> there's really no point in fighting this. We we are going to have to retreat out. Um, there's really no point in losing our planes just for the sake of uh, a couple zeros down. Um, and it's quite likely they'll try and hit our submarine as well. So we are going to retreat out of that. I'm afraid. Thirty-nine total planes. That must mean this weak hacker is about though. Um, we're going to keep the drum, it's not moving yet, so we're going to push up to a ball and then it's going to come back down, actually go out around this direction and patrol like that I think, that would be very nice indeed. Um, as far as um, plugging this gap, we don't necessarily need so many wildcats out in this direction do we, we haven't sighted anything there for days and they were mostly out um, for uh, looking towards the uh, Congo but that has not been the case for a while has it so let's keep these uh, back and send them back out in this direction I think and that will do fine I will see you in a second well 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 um, on the strategic map it appears our lightnings have come into contact with a carrier of sorts but looking from here I can't see any large flat tops what do we have what do we have Got a Congo, got a Congo, lovely stuff. This probably a carrier, probably the Camo, the Maru, the fucking what was it we saw uh, previously? Me a second. Um, it is quite likely no, not that. Kamakar Maru? No, doesn't appear to. Might be actually, might be the Kamikaze Maru. Uh, what's giving us away actually is um, these sticking off of the uh, the signal wires and such uh, sticking off of uh, here on the bows and the stern. Really not that impressive to be honest. It only holds roofs and jakes. Um, if you ask me, not really a threat. What else do they have? This is a Fuso. Interesting. We do only have lightnings with semi armor piercing bombs. Um, so what we're going to hit, I think, is actually the Mogami over here. Uh, we're going to get all of them onto there. And what we're going to do is a low altitude bomb and try and get onto that. So let's target it now. Lovely, 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 lovely stuff there. <laughs> um, let's go straight in. Full speed for the minutes, I think. That's not a problem there. Go straight down. Thank you very much. And that would be just nice. Uh, we're going to make sure we do have a proper heading rather than going straight towards them like that. That would be very nice, wouldn't it? There we go. Then we can get a proper attack order off. Uh, the visibility should be rather high, so it's 67%. Actually, not as high as I thought it would be. Um, but they are going to open fire right about now by the looks of it. 
Yeah, there we go. We can see the uh, muzzle flash is going off there. So we're going to tell our groups to attack from here, I think. Like that. There we go. Oh, do we not have bombs? Why don't we have bombs? Ooh, okay. That's rather interesting. That's quite the oversight. Maybe we will sink uh, this carrier then. Maybe we will sink this carrier instead. Because that does not have any... Um, let's just double check it as this one. It is indeed. Yeah, it does not have any armour. That is rather... I don't know what I've hit with bombs though. We should have reloaded on the way back out. Uh, rearmed ourselves. That is rather strange. Just double check that doesn't have anything then. Any armour? Yeah, zero armour so it should be fine. But uh, interesting. Rather strange. I was hoping to uh, bomb the Mogami there, to be honest, but that's okay, that's okay. Hang on, why is it... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh uh, no, it looked like we were going in for a bombing strike. Not a problem. There we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. Bit of confusion, but uh, it's all working out for the best there. <laughs> Let's get one big formation there. Go for a Vic. Lovely stuff. Tell them to come right out to circle back round, I think. Should be good there. What sort of damage did it take? It has taken very heavy damage. Very nice indeed there. Oh, that's lovely. That is very lovely. It's quite a decent invasion force there. Um, with the Aratama here and I believe a Kokuru here. I believe that's what it's called. Another over there. That's uh, rather, rather decent there. Just going to go in for one more uh, strafe attack there. Tis turning round. It's going to make an approach rather difficult, actually. But uh, we're going to have to go in between uh, the Takao and the Mogami's fire there. Not a problem. We'll tell them all to attack. Once more. Go straight in there. And there we go, it did go down in the end there. I'm going to tell these lightnings to return to base now. Hopefully they'll pick up their bombs again. That was rather a shame that they didn't have them there. But not a problem, not a problem. Don't remember using them, that's okay. <laughs> Um, so, um, in the meantime though, Shortland Islands is actually ours now. We can launch aircraft off of it rather soon. Just waiting to get rid of the uh, final troops uh, remaining there and that is brilliant stuff. Um, didn't burn through as many supplies as I thought it would there, which is excellent stuff. It means we can take any surplus over to Guadalcanal like I've been planning and get bump that up a level or so and that'd be brilliant stuff. Our um, other supply task forces are on the way. Let's double check exactly how long that's going to take them to get there. It's going to take, I can come on, it's going to take uh, just over a day, 26 hours. Lovely stuff. I can certainly wait that long. Definitely within reach there, which is excellent stuff. Um, this group over here has finally made it to Guadalcanal. Not Guadalcanal, sorry, um, the New Hebrides. So we're going to pick up as much as we can over here in terms of supply. Um, as per the plan, which will be excellent stuff. All of the supply, thank you very much. I'm actually going to, no, to fit up one of these with uh, some engineering. That would be nice just to uh, tide this over again. Go full ham on that. So much supply there, so, so much. But that is, of course, what is in greatest need. Brilliant, and that won't take very long to get over there at all. And I think that would be today's goal achieved, hopefully. Um, nothing else really being spotted, actually. Um, so that's that, really. Let's uh, carry on. Nothing else to say. Okay, so we do have, unfortunately, a bit of a night battle here. We have been intercepted by a submarine on our Colorado task force. So what we're going to do is break with the Jenkins here. Full ahead, try and get into contact with that uh, submarine. How many depth charges do we have? We have 45 depth charges. 
Um, and we're going to break with everything else and try and assume that the torpedoes will um, curve round to our port side there. So we're going to turn to starboard with everything and try and get out of there specifically with the, um, well especially rather with the uh, Colorado which has already been hit by uh, torpedoes which uh, it could go down if it gets hit uh, by a couple here could go down it's certainly a possibility um, so I'm very very scared very very scared indeed and the lack of light is going to make it very difficult to judge exactly where the torpedoes are by sight not going for the Jenkins though so the oh, yeah, here we go can just about see the streams on my cursor I'm not sure how clearly that will come up for you I do apologize but uh, going to make a tighter turn, thank you very much. Uh, go a little bit slower there. And oh, which way are they turning out? Which way? Mm, this might be a bit. Might have to turn around the other way with our Colorado. You can see on the map there that uh, starboard turn might not be the best. Um, actually, no. Looking at it, it might well be. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely to keep up with the starboard turn there, I think. Yeah, the spread's coming out uh, over to uh, this side. Get the Jenkins over to uh, the submarine a little bit better there, I think. You keep an eye on that ship. We're going to stop with the Northampton here because there's no need to keep that going. Colorado, I think. Yeah, let's just go straight now. Stop your rudder shift. And we should be absolutely fine with that. The furthest torpedoes coming out on this line mm. here should be just fine with that. Um, everything else is overturning. Not good, not good, not good. Let's just give them some orders to full ahead out of there, I think. Like that. Should be good to be there. All right, so let's slow down with the Jenkins and re-establish contact with this uh, submarine over here. And I think we'll be safe. I'm just very happy that we didn't get hit on the Colorado there. Uh, if we don't get contact with this again, I will, of course, just retreat out and see what we can do. I'm going to get the mayor, actually, to help with the uh, detection of the submarine, actually. The sea state is at 5, so it's fairly high. Um, there isn't a layer for it to hide under, not a thermal layer for it to hide under. But uh, we shall see. There we go. Got contact with this again. Let's um, let's turn round rather steep and go like that. Um, the torpedoes are looking just fine. So we're going to stop with these ships, I think. And that will help us out. Uh, I'm going to actually tell the Pensacola to come down here a tad. Because the torpedoes could still hit us if we're not careful over there. I'm going to tell the Farragut to uh, stop as well. Help us out there. Just watching the Jenkins. Mm. Going to. Uh, we've lost contact with it. That's okay. That's because we sped up too much there. Yeah, straight on it mm. though. Going to turn our speed down because we're going to overshoot it. Wish I could mark uh, places on the mini map actually. That would be great. Going to stop with the uh, Pensacola now. And that is just fine. We're going to stop with the Colorado because that would be making some sound as well. And it may just be getting in our way there. I'm going to turn around, uh, I believe the uh, lights here pointing at the last known position. And we'll see. Ah, uh, come on, mate. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Pretty much on top of it. Can we see with this view? Not just yet. Not just yet. Not a problem. It's going to slow down again. Is here it is. I don't know if you can see just here. There's a little bugger. I'll bow just above it. So we do need to turn around a little bit more. Mm, it's gonna take some time, I'm afraid. It's gonna take some time because we are so close to it. I do want to uh, turn around just right. Actually, you know what? That's basically fine there, just turn around a little bit more slow our speed down to match it and that's looking alright pretty much just above it so let's get some depth charges ready and I think just a little bit more lead and we can start dropping do apologise for the lack of light there 
that uh, these things have to be done. Gonna slow down yet again. See how these drop. Did we get any destinations there? There we go. That's nice and close. Get one on its propellers, maybe? On its rudder? Ah, uh, not quite on that. Oh, it's looking alright. Looking okay. I would have liked some closer destinations. How are we leading over it? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. We may get a little bit of a larger lead there. And then drop a fewer amount of depth charges there. Because that burned through uh, 9 or 10 there. That's okay. So we're going to drop some now. Slow down again. And... Pray. <laughs> but uh, like I said, we do have very few submarines about now. Very few. So this would be a great win if we can get rid of this. It does appear that it stops though. So we are going to reverse over it. I hear it blowing ballast there. There we go. Yeah, hopefully that should mean it's forced itself to surface. Does appear to be. The nose is pointing directly up there. So what we're going to do is stop the Mayo. There we go. Get the Jenkins, I think, to turn round. Actually, no, keep it like that and turn round a tad. I've lost sight of the uh, submarine there. Does look like it's just stopped, actually. Does look like it's just stopped. Might just want to actually um, drop some more depth charges over. Let's do that, I think. A small turnaround. There we go. And that will just about do. Just about overhead, I think. So what we're going to do is stop. Stop turning. Drop, I think, one more load of depth charges over overhead. As it's not surfacing. It does appear to be broken. <laughs> the rudder, at least. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, depth charges should be just fine. Come on. Probably wanted a couple more towards the bow, but it is sinking. Excellent stuff. Oh, night fighter destroyed. <laughs> Lovely stuff. That is brilliant. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, let's double, let's get a posthumous um, identification of that. It was type B. That I believe that was the last of them. I believe that was the last of type Bs. Uh, there's one more out there. I can't believe you've sunk so many. That's 19 type Bs destroyed in this uh, campaign. And uh, very happy for it, to be honest. <laughs> so let's carry on. Uh, we're that much safer. So, so good. So, so good. Well, um, in the early hours of the next morning, a patrolling wildcat has stumbled across another enemy fleet. And it appears to be the same one that uh, we previously encountered with the Fuso and the um, La Carrier Escort. Um, they do appear to have another uh, of that type just here. So they have... Um, Re, uh, repurchased uh, another uh, I forget what it's called, a uh, CV escort there um, but not a huge problem there, like I say yes, Kamakawa Maru um, does only have roofs and jakes which is not a problem there, we did sink the previous one um, so this is actually, if we come into the strategic map we'll show exactly where this is, because I was not expecting it to turn up right in the centre of the Solomon Sea um, what we could do is redirect the um, Tamba over here um, and try and keep in contact with it that way. Um, so otherwise, um, could go for a surface engagement with our Colorado Task Force. Not the safest, but I think we'll be okay with that. Um, what we're going to do is just put them in front to screen our carriers. Uh, what's the distance of Guadalcanal? That is about 800 or 850-ish. Uh, we do have six Mitchells available. Could go for that. 
Um, can we launch planes from here just yet? We can launch a few, nothing too hefty. Um, you know what, I think I'm going to wait to see where they go first. We could of course launch from uh, Milne Bay and such, and that might not be a bad idea actually. Might not be a bad idea at all. We do have some Mitchells available over here as well, don't we? Hmm. Okay. I think we're going to go for that, actually. What's the distance from here? Yeah, we'll easily make that with the Bowfoots there. Okay, okay. Um, how's the change there? Yeah, let's go for these bombs, I think. Like that. Go with the Lightnings as well. Um, gonna launch the lightnings with these bombs, and uh, they're gonna go for a heavy cruiser, I think. And we can launch some. Uh, can't launch bow fighters just yet. They do appear to be out and about, perhaps. Don't remember losing them. Yeah, here we are. Um, okay, so I think they are armed currently. So uh, they're gonna go around and have a look at that, and we'll see. Okay, so it does appear that another engineering force has come over with some fuel and engineering to Guadalcanal. So we are going to unload that. Very nice indeed. What do the numbers look like now? A thousand and forty fuel. That is brilliant. Very, very nice indeed. We do, of course, have these supplies about to come in. So um, we're going to be able to uh, upgrade Guadalcanal within the next day or so. That is brilliant. But it appears that the um, Fuso task force has come over here and they do have an invasion force with them so it might well land some troops onto the Shortland Islands. Probably should have predicted that to be honest. Um, bit of an oversight there, not a problem. Gonna get some Mitchells out uh, with the two bombs there. Go straight over there and we will launch some Dauntlesses as well from both the Wasp and the um, uh, Guadalcanal airfield I think. Like that, go for armor piercing bombs, thank you. There we go. Straight over. And no sign of them launching anything actually. It's a lot of aircraft going in this direction. Can't tell if those have been launched from this uh, p possible aircraft carrier or a second one. We are redirecting the Tamba over to have a look at that. Hmm, it's very okay, so they are coming from that, so that's not a problem. That does mean, I do want to identify that, it might not be the, um, we may have made a massive mistake here. Really should have thought about that, uh, sending in some wildcats to help out. Um, I thought it might just be the um, Kamakawa Maru there. May have to retreat these Dauntlesses out, that's not a problem. We'll send in some uh, wildcats from this Bogue over here. They'll at least be able to protect the Mitchells there. So, um... Send in this. Uh, we'll tell these Dauntlesses, I think, mm, to return to base for now, actually. I will send in some from over here, and that will give us uh, some time for the Wildcats to come in, and that'll be fine. I don't want to lose these unnecessarily, but I would like to use them to scout out the aircraft carrier at least, but that's fine. Not a bother there. Mm, they are moving the zeros away, though. Could just be very cheeky and bring that in. That would be very nice indeed, actually. That would be very nice indeed. Alrighty then, so we should have come into contact with the uh, enemy carrier right here. And indeed we have. What exactly is it? Uh, it is uh, perhaps that Fuso again. Okay, interesting. Lovely stuff. Um, so, nothing to worry about too much here, so we do have roofs rather than ju uh, real zeros, but of course their firepower is exactly the same, and uh, that will mean um, our Dauntlesses as such are still at a great risk. So what we're going to do first is make sure our Wildcats are sourcing out the uh, enemy roofs, just uh, send over a few attack orders over there, lovely stuff. Uh, source out this one, I think go over to here, uh, this group can go over to here very nicely. Thank you very much, that would be 20, lovely, 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 lovely. Um, go for this one actually, thank you. Uh, 21 and 22 can go for uh, this over here, which indeed they are. Lovely stuff, excellent. So we can source out the Dauntlesses as well. Um, the carrier then would appear to be this one. Um, hmm. 
I also want to hit uh, the Fusa, really. We'll leave the Mitchells for that. And actually, what I'm going to do with the Mitchells is go in from the side, like I said previously. Uh, they're going to go full speed, target um, this Fuso here. There might even be an Issei, actually. Um, looks more like a Fuso to me, though. Not a problem. Um, what do I want to do with the Dauntlesses? Because I'm hesitating on uh, destroying uh, the um, CVL here with the Dauntlesses because we could strafe it down with our Wildcats, is the thing. Um, but I don't want to keep our Dauntlesses in reserve um, right now because uh, I do want to use their payload and I don't want to waste around for the Wildcats just in case they do lose. So what I'm actually going to do is go for, I think, um, everything on the Fuso, I think. Uh, this is very, very difficult. It's very, very difficult indeed. Um, quite the hard choice to make. So let's uh, carry on first get everything into position here and then we'll make our mind up by the time we get there <laughs> oh i usually believe in uh, being a decisive commander but uh when you've got so many nice targets and too many payload it just makes you wonder what you want to hit really really makes you wonder what you want to hit but our wildcats are they all going for the same targets now mm. again possibly no? Excellent. So we should be okay to win this fairly easily. Yeah, they have changed their targets. Not so too much of a bother there. Uh, nope, let's not do that. Okay, we should be right on there. So now that we've won the um, air game here, I am more confident about shooting down uh, this Kamikawa Maru with um, our Wildcats. I think we'll be alright there. Just going to take a quick report to make sure we are okay on that. Yeah, they do just have two roofs available at the moment. Going to double check where we are targeting here because it does appear that uh, we've changed things yet again. There we go. Mm. Get a couple on that one, but that's absolutely fine. It's the only one left. So, what we're going to do is um, form up our Wildcats, um, strafe the um, Kawikawa Maru, get our Dauntlesses actually on, I think, the Takao or the Mogami. I think the Takao is probably a decent idea at the moment. So, let's do that. Let's uh, change our approaches like that. Lovely stuff. They can all go line ahead. Should be alright like that. I think that is just fine over there. Lovely stuff. I thought I told them to go in like that. Not a problem. Okay, cool. Well, we have... Yeah, that's fine. We've destroyed all of the... Um, all of the roofs. So we're going to get one large wildcat force here. We're going to go in a Vic formation. Form up. Circle round to form up. Target the number one over here. And once they've formed up, they can go in like that and destroy that. That would be lovely stuff. Perhaps we'll be able to get two birds with one stone at least here. Not too hopeful on destroying the Fuso with the Mitchells. Um, that will be something that we have to work towards in the course of over the course of a couple strikes, I think. But not to worry, as long as we're prepared for that, we should be absolutely fine. But the Dauntless is over here, looking very nice. Getting a move around. Lovely stuff. Uh, they've not actually been told to target it, so that may help. Don't you think? I'm just going to change our approach just a tad. Uh, they're not moving though. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, interesting stuff. There we go. It's just a bit bugged there, I think. Yeah, thoughts are... Okay, cool. And they can attack, I think, from about here. And let's tell all of them to attack now, I think. Uh, just wait for a little better position there. How are our Mitchells going? That's absolutely fine, keeping them out of range of the AA there. And our Wildcats, are they looking like they're in a decent position? They are indeed. That's fine. They can come around in a second. And this is going okay so far, isn't it? Going rather okay. I'm going to tell the uh, Dauntlesses to actually just get out straight away once they've dropped. So let's carry on with this group. Oh, very, very nice hit indeed. Very, very nice hit indeed. Go straight over back to this one. I do apologise for all the pausing and stopping. But it uh, just helps with the uh, commands. There we go. 
So change the course again over here and go to the flanking position. Oh, dud! That's uh, that's a bit that's uh, oh, unacceptable there, if you ask me. And we'll just uh, get this lot to move out like that. Ah, oh, complete! Just straddled the target there. That's a shame. That was a real shame. That would have gone down. But our wildcats are now in position. Let's tell them to circle down and attack. Probably should have sorted out their altitude before they were in AA range. That would have been a good idea, wouldn't it? Uh, it does appear that we accidentally broke off a Mitchell, or a Dauntless rather, here. That's fine. It's time to go straight out. Let's get an action report then. Um, heavy and heavy, not a problem. Won't sink, but that's okay. I am still going to hit the Fuso uh, because it is such a lovely, juicy target there. And this should be okay to sink the Kamakawa Maru. We do have quite a few uh, wildcats on there. About 12, I believe. So it should be alright. Rather focusing the fire there. Rather, rather focused indeed. Come on, let's get rid of the UI. Get that out of the way. Ah, lose one on the approach there. Not good. And some sort of explosions, maybe. Uh, would have liked something a bit better, maybe. Ooh, that's okay though, that's okay. Let's uh, just pause very quickly, fall them up once again. Uh, like so. Tell them to form up in a Vic, get out, um, and come back around the stern, actually. Like that. So then they can go around for another strafe. I am guessing going to get very greedy here. Very greedy indeed, but I do want this to be downed. I don't really want to waste um, the massive payload of the Mitchells on it, to be honest. Not today, thank you. I'm going to form the Mitchells up into a box uh, for the tighter positions. Um, and actually, you know, uh, yeah, let's keep on the Fuso in this position. And I think they can get told to attack from here, I think. It is very tempting to do a last minute line ahead, actually, from the position we're on. Very, very tempting indeed. Very, very tempting indeed. You know what, we're not going to sink it anyway. Let's go for the line ahead. And it's either an all or nothing here. Let's go for it. Uh, we'll slow down their speed so they just get into a better position with their formation. And then we'll zoom up in a second, make sure we're attacking as a formation. And tell them to attack now, increase your speed so you get in without any losses. Wildcats, uh, yeah, you can carry on your position at the moment. Mm. Okay, are we going to regret this? Are we going to regret this? Do you want some sort of hits, guys? That'd be great. Just going to tell them to increase the speed, get straight out, like that. Thank you very much. Please don't make me regret it. Want some hits? Come on. Ah, I got a couple. One dud. But uh, dropped a little too early by the looks of it, which is a shame. I should really start doing some manual drops, shouldn't I? Might have some more luck there, but just some minor damage, I'm sure. Where are we with the Fuso? Yeah, moderate, not too bad. I'll happily take that. Like I say, weren't expected to sink it, but one thing I do want to sink is, of course, this Kamikawa Maru. So we're going to go in from this angle, tell them all to go straight in. Should be right on there. Looks all the smoke on this fleet, though. We've inflicted a lot of damage, if not any sunk uh, ships so far. Uh, making them very, very squishy. Just make sure we get some sort of permanent fires on here, that'd be great. But we are, of course, uh, rather damaged with our wildcats at the moment. Just getting this ready so they can form up once again. And then get straight out. Little hit and run. Get on the stern there. Yeah, there we go. Some more spread out damage just there. And for some reason, the leading ship died there, or plane rather. So go right out again. And that should be enough. Where are we? Heavy and moderate. Perhaps not, perhaps not. 
Total watch the fires, make sure uh, they're okay. And uh, see what we can do about that. And there we go, I did not decide to bring in any more Wildcats to uh, strike that Kamikawa Maru once again because I did not want to uh, risk losing anymore, which is perfectly understandable there. But we, it did end up being scuttled in the end, uh, the fires unceasing there and actually causing more explosions over the course of their burn time, which is absolutely brilliant. So a successful battle as far as I'm concerned. And that is excellent. Let's tell everyone to go back to base. Thank you very much. No needs to uh, linger there anymore. And we are very close to upgrading um, our base over here. Excellent stuff. We're just waiting for these supplies to come in. And that will easily uh, tick us over just there. So I think that will be where we end the video. So let's go over and see what happens. Okay, so we have made it in range. You may have noticed that the hours have ticked by quite a while. And that's because I thought we might be able to get in contact with um, the retreating Fuso task force there with our Gato. But we did lose sight, unfortunately, because of the uh, dark weather and the time of day. Which is rather a shame. I thought we might be able to get that. So I did try going to Tactical a couple of times and trying to see that. But unfortunately, not the case. So let's unload all of our cargo here. Like that. And that is certainly enough to go to a level four airfield. And that is excellent stuff. Really, really good. Uh, we only need um, mostly supplies again now, to be honest, to get a uh, level five. And that would be brilliant. So the campaign finally coming to a close here. Um, so we may play a little longer after that, see what uh, sorts of ships we can sink. See how we feel after that. But uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant stuff there. Really, really good. Um, of course, we do have. Where are they? I said we do have them. <laughs> Coming, yeah, supplies from here. Um, oh, these were the supplies from uh, the from Australia. Not a problem. Guessing a little bit confused there. So let's send them um, back. I think. Move that out the way. Yeah, there we go. And they can pick up some more as well, just in case. But how much do we need? I think, um, yeah, only 40 more fuel and uh, about 180-ish, uh, okay, engineering. So we should be able to get that when we next get resupplied, actually, which will only be another day or so, I think. Um, it's not bad at all, actually. Not bad at all. Um, brilliant stuff, really. Excellent. And all supplies are coming in now, which is great. Great, great, great. Um, exactly what do we need there? Do we need just under 4,000 there, but that's fine. They're coming in here. Excellent stuff. Excellent. In fact, you know what? I'm going to let this lot drop off and we'll end the episode there. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I think we are in range just about now. Let's drop off cargo. Excellent. It's gone to Guadalcanal. How exactly are we looking there? Yep, just waiting on some fuel and engineering now. And I think we'll be able to do that very, very soon. But here's a little teaser for the next episode, guys. Two aircraft carriers. One here outside the Shortland Islands and another here. Shall we just scout that out very quickly with this patrolling wildcat? Mm-hmm. And that appears to be what we sighted before. Okay, so that's uh, either a Fusa or an Issei. Lovely stuff. Um, and it appears to be another Kamikawa Maru then over here. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. All right, see. All right, see. Can we launch anything off of here just to scout out uh, what this one might be? Launch that and go straight over. Not going to bother hitting it. Just want to see exactly what we're going to be dealing with. Go into tactical. Where are they? Visibility is rather low, of course. Oh, what have we got? That's a single oiler again. Okay, it's not picking up what we wanted to. Lovely stuff. <laughs> uh, let's go over again and see if we can pick it up. Yeah, don't want the oiler. I want the carrier. I want the carrier. Try again. It's weird it does this. There's definitely going to be something else there. Well, 
Um, unfortunately, not able to spot that because I don't know reasons. <laughs> the game doesn't want us to. <laughs> just only Euler, no carrier, no carrier. You didn't see the carrier, only Euler. But uh, not a problem there. We'll pick that up on the next uh, episode. So a little teaser for you there, of course. Thank you very much for watching, though. That is all we've got time for today, I'm afraid. Um, and again, I'd uh, like to hear your uh, comments in the section below. Thank you very much. Always very much appreciated. But uh, I have been the Edify Gamer, and I hope your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.